When most people start any type of a course or other form of instruction, they tend to view the progression as linear, starting with module one, then module two, and so on. While we do want you to start this course with module one, we also want you to review module two and module three to see how all the pieces fit together. We also recommend that you look more closely at module three and start experimenting with the screen capture software that we recommend because you'll be using it to share your learner's preparation strategy that will include your growth and learner's mindset strategy from module one and your assessment of, for, and as learning strategy from module two. Why didn't we just start with module three? There are a few reasons. Unless you start with preparing your learners to receive feed forward, your efforts will not have a desired impact. It doesn't matter how wonderful and encouraging your feed forward is. Unless your learner is willing to see feed forward as an opportunity for growth, and they also look at challenges as learning opportunities, your feed forward will more than likely not be received in the way that you wish and be viewed as criticism. At worst, it might also be viewed as a personal insult. We are also modeling a learning process that requires you to look at the bigger picture and use higher order thinking skills to analyze how this feed forward process works so that you can begin to synthesize what you are learning into your own strategy. Finally, by summarizing and sharing your own learner preparation strategy with the same tools you'll be using to provide feed forward to your learners, you are gaining valuable practice and insight into how this whole process works.